What makes McQueen so unique was his vision for fashion. He simply didn't believe in limiting its possibilities. He pushed fashion to the boundaries. He was hugely talented. He seemed to be able to cut clothes. It was almost a second nature. It wasn't really difficult for him. It was, seemed very easy. Um, I've never really experienced that before. This is by far the biggest fashion show that the V&A has ever staged. McQueen's work was beautifully crafted. The narrative was very carefully considered and he was very interested in exploring the potential of fashion to be theatrical, to stage an event, something akin to performance art. There was always something that was extreme, you know, whether we were trying to create snow or the girls to walk on water or there was a fire. Each, it was never just about the presentation of clothes on a runway, there was always some other effect. What I think is so beautiful about this exhibition is that it doesn't just hold the spirit of the McQueen, but it holds the spirit of all of those who cared about him and worked with him and for him. I was a trained goldsmith and that's one of the reasons Lee loved working with me, because he knew of my skill and my attention to detail. But I think where Lee took me was quite interesting because I was a jeweller, but then I was almost becoming a tailor. I was pattern cutting in metal which is something I had never ever done before. He used to come to the V&A archives regularly and he was very enthusiastic and very, very knowledgeable about fashion history. It's five years since he sadly died, but what he's left behind is the most wonderful legacy. And it's a great privilege for the V&A to be showing the exhibition Savage Beauty here in London in 2015.